Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Star Flames. In this video, guys, we're going to talk about Sean Diddy Combs, attorney gearing up for his third bail hearing, wherein they will face a three-panel judge. Let's get into it, guys, because as you guys know, Sean Diddy Combs was arrested on September 16th of this year. He was arrested on sex trafficking char charges, human trafficking, and racketeering. Now, the last bail appeal, it was denied because the judge is saying they have, um, they have the same offer of $50 million on the table. So evidently, the judge is saying, you know what? For someone who is such a flight risk, that is not enough. So as such, his legal team is reassembling their efforts for a third bail fight. But let's get into this report that is coming out from Billboard, right? Now, they're saying a federal a federal appeals court judge has ruled to keep Sean Diddy Combs locked up while he makes a third bid for bail in his sex trafficking case, which is stated to go on trial in May. As you guys know, it was announced that his trial will start on May 5th, okay? Now, in a decision filed Friday, October 11th, Circuit Judge William J. Nardini denied the hip hop mogul immediate release from jail while a three judge panel weighs his bail request. Now, Combs lawyers appealed to the Second Circuit Court of Appeal on September 30th after two judges rejected his release. So when they appealed, the judge was, the judge was like, you know, you haven't changed anything in the bail offer for this man. You're still putting $50 million on the table. So as such, the judge has declined. But the reason why the prosecution did not change the offer, it's because they're saying the first argument that was brought in front of the judge was more than um enough for Sean Diddy Combs to be granted bail. But the judge is pushing, pushing back and saying, no, it's definitely not. So as such, his legal team, they're currently reassembling their efforts to um, attend a third bail hearing. Now, let us continue, right? Now, they're saying Combs 54 has been held at federal jail in Brooklyn since his September 16 arrest on charges that he used his power and prestige as a music star to induce female victims into drugged up elaborate elaborately produce sexual performances with male sex workers in events dubbed as free coughs. Combs has pleaded not guilty to racketeering conspiracy and sex trafficking charges, alleging he coerced and abused women for years with help from a network of associates and employees while silencing victims through blackmail and violence, including kidnapping, arson, and physical beatings. At a bail hearing three weeks ago, a judge re rejected the defense $50 million bail proposal that would have allowed the album Missing You singer to be placed under house arrest at his Florida mansion with GPS monitoring and strict limits on visitors. Judge Andrew L. Carter, who has since recused himself from the case, said that prosecutors had presented clear and convincing evidence that Comb is, Combs is a danger to the community. He said no conditions or set of conditions could guard against the risk of Combs obstructing the investigation or threatening or harming witnesses. So Andrew Carter, he's saying, you know, based on everything, this man has, has been definitely declared as a threat to society. So automatically you guys know that the third bail hearing, it's going to be denied just the same. Now let's continue. They're saying that in their appeal, Combs lawyer argued that the judge had endorsed the government exaggerated rhetorics in order Combs attained for purely speculative reasons. So his defense team is saying they don't have enough evidence and they're holding him on speculation. And you know what? It is true. It is true. But let us continue, right? They're saying, indeed, hardly a risk of flight. He is a 54-year-old father of seven, a U.S. citizen and and an extra 
extraordinarily successful artist, businessman, philanthropist, and one of the most recognizable people on earth, the lawyers wrote, Combs lawyer have not asked the new trial judge, Arun Sub Subramania, Arun Subramania that is, to consider releasing him on bail at a hearing Thursday as Combs sat alongside his lawyer in a beige jail jumps jumpsuit. So Romania suggested he would at least be open to taking up the issue. But we we know how that goes. It's not gonna happen for him. Now they're saying that after setting a May fifth a May fifth trial date, Subramanian briefly questioned Combs' lawyer about his treatment at the Metropolitan Detention Center, which has been plagued by violence and dysfunction, dysfunction for years. Combs' lawyer, Mark Agnafilo, who had previously sought to have him moved to a jail in New Jersey, told the judge, we're making a go of the Metropolitan Detention Center. The Metropolitan Dis Detention Center has been very responsive to us. Another Combs lawyer, Anthony Rico, told reporters outside the courthouse. Afterwards, he's doing fine. It's a difficult circumstance. He's making the best of the situation. But Rico said, nobody's okay staying in jail for now. And that's the end of that. So, he's right. No one is okay staying in jail for now. That can definitely have a mental toll on people but at the same time they have to understand that just as though they're not okay in jail this is how people were not okay with their actions and many of those people did not even get to choose what decide to them and i believe that they should actually take the time face the harshness to reflect on their actions towards their victims. Now, as it relates to Sean Diddy Combs, again, the third bail hearing, it's upcoming. And I believe that the prosecutors are going to come with something heavy against Sean Diddy Combs, wherein he's going to be denied bail, what, bail once again. We see it. <laughs> they have outlined it. He's already been classified as a dangerous human being to society. It's definitely not going to work. But I do believe that the prosecutors they're going to come with more substantial evidence, you know, and I also believe that as Sloan told us, they're going to consistently play games with him. I believe they're going to consistently change the start date of the trial. I also believe that we're going to hear more stuff by, you know, Monday, today, today, Sunday, we're going into Monday. I believe we're going to hear about, you know, some shocking information, shocking discovery coming up shortly. So, I want to encourage you guys to keep your eyes peeled and look out for those coming up next. But guys, it's your time to chime in. Let me know what are your thoughts while you're at it. You know what to do. Thumbs up, subscribe, stay safe, and see you guys later. Bye, guys.